Hello, myself Anu Suraj. I'm a wellness consultant, a psychologist, a certified yoga trainer, a certified expressive art therapy facilitator. I run an NGO called Swaraksha, which is an initiative against child abuse. Today, I would like to highlight a very important topic, which is focus of mind. Now, as children, we all would have heard this phrase many times from our mentors, caretakers, parents. Pay attention. Not just as children, when we grew up as adolescents, as adults, we would have repeatedly heard this phrase. Our present lifestyle, working and living habits make it necessary that we do juggle and balance many things at a time. Multitasker is a common acknowledged phrase which is being used along with phrases like superhuman, superwoman, etc. Now consider a scenario where a person is doing, an adult is doing a multitude of tasks. For example, he or she is running to attend to the kids, attending the phone calls and also hearing a whistle in the kitchen and as at the same time handling the admin job in the laptop. So, such a person is bound to be distressed in no time if she or he continues to do the same thing. Though the term multitasker is used to refer to a person who can achieve remarkable feats of intellect or creativity, it can lead to stress. Dharana or concentration is all about focusing on something specific, binding our mind to one particular faith, uh, place, object or idea without being um, without wandering away or straying the mind away with such thoughts at, as what is going to be in my menu tomorrow or how am I going to uh, handle things at workplace tomorrow. In yogic texts, dharana is defined as desha bandhasi chittasi dharana which means fixing or binding our mind to one particular object or one particular place, idea or image or sound for that matter is concentration. Cognitive research also states that it is vital to achieve success in any field of skilled performance. There are three levels of attention which is being focused here. The concentration, the effortful concentration, selective perception and divided attention. Divided attention is the ability to perform one or two concurrent activities equally well. Dharana is one of the eight limbs of yoga. Dharana is concentrating or focusing our mind consciously or engrossing ourselves wholly on a single point or one particular task. In both dharana and dhyana, there are three elements. The meditator, the person who focuses, the object of focus, that is where our thought process are, are directed to and the process itself. But how do we do it? To practice this, one has to bind their mind to one particular place, image or object for that matter. Now we know that how difficult it is because the thoughts keep coming. Our mind is referred to as monkey because we keep jumping from one thoughts to another. No matter at times how much ever we try to distract ourselves, the thoughts keep coming. So what do we do? Like how there are people uh, for whom it comes very naturally as they try to focus. But for some, it has to be done mindfully and consciously. You can practice concentration by fitting it either in your daily schedule or by practicing it independently as a separate activity but it all depends on your work and your comfort. If you are planning to do it as a separate activity, you can try sitting comfortably in, a, in any posture you want. Make sure that the spine is erect and you focus on your breath. Suppose you are desiring to focus on your breath, you can see or observe the air that is flowing in and out. We know that at one particular time of our day, one particular nostril will be more dominant than the other. Both yoga and science explain that at any given moment, uh, that is at one particular time, there is only one dominant nostril. So we can try mindfully shifting our focus to the pattern of the flow. If it is hot breath or if it is cold breath, which nostril is hot, the, which, the, which nostril is bringing in uh, or out uh, cold air and which nostril is bringing in hot air. So that is where you are mindfully trying to shift your focus or attention to the breath. If this is one way, another way is to focus on an object internally or externally. 
suppose you have uh, suppose if you have a candle light in your home you can try lighting it keep the candle flame alive and within one arm distance make sure you gaze it continuously if possible for around one to two minutes you should, can try without blinking being fully aware of what you are doing this can be done for a minute or two after that try closing your eyes and internalize the image of the flame then you can no longer see the flame open your eyes and repeat then you can close your eyes rub your palms together and gently cup your eyes with the palm of your hands you can also focus on things externally for example if you have a vase kept in the veranda of your house you can shift your attention consciously to that you can observe the leaves the flower the petals the color of the leaves the shape and patterns inside the shape and color of the flowers how many petals is it has etc you can gaze at it for a minute or two you can also close your eyes and focus on any mantra for that matter you can concentrate on om the akara ukara and makara for that matter you can chant it loudly repeatedly for a while along with it you can play it in your mobile you can play it in your laptop and after that you can switch it off and play it chanted internally also loudly or quietly for several minutes a person can try choosing one technique make sure that he or she is very comfortable with it once you get to know what really works for you once that understanding dawns you can actually steadily increase it at, as it develops in yoga our teachers used to say that success only comes with regular and repeated practice psychology also says that controlling internal and external environment picking a best environment and regularly practicing it will help one to bloom hence regular and repeated mindful practice to focus consciously will go a long way in promoting your health wellness and to help you lead a better life thank you